Welcome to Shaping E-Commerce with Iron Plane. This is where we talk about e-commerce development, solutions, digital marketing, and all things e-commerce. Be sure to check out the description below each video to find additional resource links and show notes. We upload new videos each day. Please like and subscribe to our channel. In this e-commerce marketing series, Omnichannel Edition, we explore how the omnichannel marketing approach can help you build a loyal community around your business. In this episode, account executive Tony Muscarinius will go over the last marketing channel, networking and events. To watch the rest of the series, please check out our e-commerce marketing playlist. Hi, my name is Tony Muscarinius. I am with Iron Plane, your e-commerce development company. Uh, we specialize in building uh, e-commerce websites and we also do digital marketing to help our clients get the traffic to their new websites. Um, we build state-of-the-art websites. Um, we specialize in Magento. We also use BigCommerce. Um, if you guys are interested in uh, a new uh, uh, e-commerce website or updating the current one you have, uh, we'd love to talk with you. I'm here today, guys, to uh, talk about uh, building a community around your business um using uh what is now termed omni-channel uh, marketing um, basically this is using all the channels that uh, we currently have available to us to um kind of reflect the same message and and, and drive uh our readership audience clients customers their friends and their friends all the way to your message to your store to your website to your e-commerce website to obviously build your business. Uh, I'm gonna go through five channels today and uh, we're gonna talk about each of them and how to uh, get them directed all into the same direction, working together. And uh, it will start uh, we're going through all these channels and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, there's also a lot of other videos that Iron Plane is doing, um, whether it's uh, digital marketing, how to choose platforms, uh, how to uh, work on a, a you know, much more detailed Magento site. Uh, so make sure you check out our uh, our channel, um, Iron Plane on YouTube, and hit the subscribe button and uh, give us a like uh, if this is something you're interested to in. And uh, we appreciate that. So yeah, let's get going. Um, we're going to look at networking and events. Um, this is one of the channels that uh, some businesses don't utilize enough and uh, but it can pay off in big ways um, because it does build that community. It actually helps you get to know people a lot more personal. And as you know people and are able to spread the good word, they spread it about you and they talk to their sphere of influence and their sphere of influence. And it's like the snowball effect that will help you grow your business. Um, the first one I'm gonna go with is trade shows. So uh, trade shows, uh, are a way to get in front of a lot of customers in a couple of days if you're going to have a booth. Um, but this always have these always have to be strategized and uh, and look at the costs of you know going to the show, what the show costs, and what you expect to get from it. Um, either way, when you make the investment, you got to make sure that you have plenty of uh, strategy and material to. Um, provide it to show and make sure that you take it with you. I mean, you want to take everything that you, that you, that you think you're going to need, um, but you don't want to overpack because then you'll just be a, a cluttered mess in your booth. So um, unless you're a kitchen sink company, don't take the kitchen sink. Um, but planning meetings when you're going to the show. So even if you're, if you're a vendor, obviously you can reach out to customers and tell them that you're going to be showing, make the meetings. If you're, a, if you're attending, um, and you look at the uh, vendor list, make sure you go out there and you, and you call weeks in advance to try to get uh, appointments set up so that you can make the most of every minute, hour <laughs> that you're at that show that uh, when you, uh, you know, get back in the car or the plane after that show, you have success, successful <laughs> Rolodex full of, uh, you know, a notebook full of uh, meetings and follow-ups and proposals ready to go. Um, again, this is another place where you can just, if you're a vendor at a at a trade show, just get to know people, invite your customers in there if they can come if it's a public show and start to build your community. You can do that by 
um, having, you know, engagements at your booth, whether it's contests or follow-ups and that kind of, uh, you know, maybe some type of um, giveaway or, um, again, like I said, a contest that starts at the booth, it ends at the store or ends, uh, uh, you know, a week later through email. Um, that's always something that you want to do is to try to continue to build your audience for your store. And it's not just about like getting them to buy that day. It's about getting them to know you, you getting to know them and starting to really build that relationship and building your sphere of influence so with all your prospective clients and their sphere of influence and theirs and theirs and theirs. So again, these in-person trade shows and other opportunities are it's just as much about selling as it is to get to know someone and to build that community. Also, my one of my tips is stay for the whole show. Um, make sure that you hit all the booths. And uh, if you stay for the end of the show and, and skip going to the bar early, you will be able to reach that booth that was crowded all day and you couldn't get to that key decision maker chances are three o'clock four o'clock when everything's kind of winding down they'll be hanging around you can go in there um, and then afterwards at the networking party you'll have made all your contacts and then you can have your cold beverage or water or what have you um, it's it definitely is worth it to make the most out of all the trade shows um, so another part of the uh, events and networked uh, Omni channel or the channel of that is uh, networking events. Now, over the last few years, we have changed our networking events to online, which uh, are definitely uh, pluses and minuses. Um, it definitely takes that personal touch or, you know, having to have someone right in front of you and be and being able to talk with them and, and uh, really engage in a personal level. But now you're on Zooms. But nevertheless, some of these networking events online are very effective because you still get to have your three minutes in front of a group of people to talk about your company, talk about what you do, how you can help them, and then you can listen to them. Um, again, one of these things with networking is you know helping people and helping them connect so even if you hear of a person that you know hey i know a guy that does that or i know a specialist in that and then you hook those two people up i mean that is what it's all about and when you can help another business and they help a business it all just helps your uh your good will and uh in the business sense because they're always going to be thinking for you and not that you're only doing it for to get something, but it's uh, it's kind of that's kind of the big motion of this is the networking is getting out there and and doing what you can to connect people and uh, and help them help each other and and you know all high tide floats all ships right so um, that is the you know if you're doing it on Zoom or if you're in person that's the uh, the networking um, you can also uh, hold seminars or attend seminars. You can host a seminar in your business. Um, this is a great way to get people, whether it's even part of your business, to have a seminar there if you have the facility. That way you get people into the store. Um, once you get people into the store, you've got new possible customers. Even if they aren't interested, let's say you're a, uh, I'll give the example of the golf shop shops that I used to manage. Um, we used to have seminars of all different types in, in this uh, meeting room. Well, a lot of the people weren't golfers, but they would still go buy things for their golf friends or they would tell their golfers, I never even knew about this store. This is a great place. I got to tell my husband, my brother, whatever, my neighbor. You never know who's going to lead you to your next biggest client. So uh, during these networking uh, opportunities, it's always good to just talk and just uh, have an open mind and just see how you can connect with each other and uh, and help each other and uh, it always pays off in, in spades it seems um, that I've always uh, enjoyed that and it's really worked out to it for a lot of the businesses I've been working with. Um, next we're going to talk about sponsorships and charity events. So there are multiple ways to get involved with uh, sponsorships and charity events. Um, there's golf tournaments, dinners, chambers, specialty groups and other like races and so forth. Um, one of the things you need to do is really um, make sure that it's your audience, make sure that the audience is big enough and that it's the right um, fit for you because uh, some of these can really turn out well and some of them can really go flat for you. So it's a matter of um, really being picky and choosy about this, but I would definitely say that, you know, 
if you're if you're uh, looking to expand your community, um, getting out there at uh, at let's say a golf tournament is, is a great way. Um, but let's say the golf tournament, if you're at a at a hole with your your staff there, um, you're only going to see 144 people. So you got to make sure that they're the right 144. Good thing about golf tournaments is typically everyone's pretty much in a good mood since they're playing golf, so they're very easy to approach and talk to. Uh, charity events and uh, like dinners and balls, um, I think. Again, strategy, strategy. Uh, you got to make sure you're at the right table with the person you need to talk to or you want to. I mean, obviously, supporting that event is one thing, and you can have a nice time that way. But if you are able to make it a successful one by sitting at the right table, that's something that's a, 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 a bonus. Chamber of Commerce, you can do a B2B. If, you're com if your company is, uh, can benefit from B2B, that is something that uh, would be, might work out for you. Specialty groups. Um, if you're helping out some specialty groups, this can actually, you know, obviously create some goodwill, but it could be used as team building. Um, and again, you're, you're growing your community because maybe you brought your team out to help people feed someone or build something or what have you. Um, that just spreads the good word and your community um, and your community grows that way because more people know about your company and that you're out there doing good stuff. Uh, so this is some, you know, other ways to build the community. Uh, tournaments and competitions, you know, if you're a running shoe store, obviously triathlons, races, marathons, these are no brainers. Um, but again, it's, uh, it's something that you got to have to make sure that it's worth the cost. And uh, if you're, if you're just starting out, then, you know, yes, you need to, but yeah, you know, if, if it's in the budget, obviously. Um, so that would be my take on the sponsorships and charities. Uh, the other things that I would, um, include in the networking events is uh, in-store events and we kind of talked about that seminars demos lessons any type of thing that you can do in-store uh, even you know having coffee maybe a breakfast for uh, groups um uh i've coffee with the owner if you guys have somewhat of a craftsman type of uh business i know that uh, a surf shop in san diego used to have uh, coffee with the owners or with the shaper and uh, he's kind of a famous shaver and he would, uh, you know, every Friday be in the shop um, and just talking surfboards with these guys. And obviously people would go in, they would talk with him, order a thousand dollar surfboard. Oh, there you go. Cup of coffee and a thousand dollar order. That's not too bad. Um, and that's just kind of the thing where you're just, you know, available for your customers and, and being part of that, building that community and just, you know, just talking with them, rapping with them and having fun. Um, what else we got outings, let's say, um, bike store. If you're a bike store, go on group rides. You know, that's another thing you, you build that loyal, um, group that, you know, now you're friends with, and they're going to your website. They're putting some positive, uh, comments. They're going into the store. They're telling their friends, your, your audience builds and your customer builds and your revenue builds um other things such as like meetups and other type of uh, online and in-person things uh or, or events rather they're very straightforward very simple to do um it just takes some effort and some planning um so with all these you know whether it's going from the in-store events the sponsorships uh the networks events uh, trade shows you know um digital marketing content on your website in store you know setting up experience and then your website obviously these are all channels that you can use to drive business into your store or on your website you know with your e-commerce website or drive them into your store and vice versa this is something that you know it just doesn't happen by itself and i'm not telling you anything you don't know but guys you have to really strategically plan this quarter by quarter week by week and make sure that the the message is consistent and the banners are built and the trade show is scheduled and all that type of stuff and that 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 all is all your arrows are pointing at the right direction and that you don't I make sure that you're all ready to go because i have i've been on both sides of it where we have had a very well tuned machine and it's worked like a uh, like a charm when we've gone and done all the the advertising campaigns we've done the end stores and we've done the events and it's all worked out and and the spikes happen and then there's been other times where i've either been part of it where 
the content didn't match the in-store and the event didn't get booked and it's just kind of been a nightmare so uh planning strategy and having fun growing that uh, community around your business it makes your company a, a, a better place in the, you know to service the community and a, a better place to work so hope that helps you guys and uh please check out all our other videos and our blog post at ironplane.com. Um, thanks so much and uh, wish you guys success. For more insights on how to improve your e-commerce website and for a free consultation, visit ironplane.com. Follow us on social media and like and subscribe below.